So here I have the um, ECU out of the 86. So it's originally a MS1, so it's got that chip in there. And it's just the, the MS1 chip. Um, but thanks to a mate who got rid of his car, um, I now have an MS2 chip. Um, so in theory, it fits in its place, so it just sits exactly where the MS1 chip would sit. Um, and then after doing some googling, um, and just checking all the pins, all the, um, all the pins that are on the MS2 are actually the same as what the MS1 chip is. So all then the little circuits that I have running off, so I've got launch control and, and boost control and all that sort of thing, that should all be the same. Circuit here is for controlling a um, signal from the distributor or the cam angle sensor. Um, that should all work. The circuitry that I have for the coil packs, being individual coil packs, um, that should all work as well. Um, yeah, I've actually, there's no map, normally there's a map sensor on here, I've actually removed that and we've gone to an external map, um, gone for a, I believe a three bar one, or three and a half, um, that's so I can actually run 20 or something pounds without it, um, complaining. So yeah, I took a backup on the, on the laptop. Um, of the current tune, I'll put this chip in, put it all back in the car, take the laptop out again, um, read what's on there, check what's on there, probably update the firmware because it's probably an update, it hasn't been run for a while, um, update it, chuck it all back to defaults and then um, bring up my other tune and actually just copy everything across so I can export the map so the map will stay the same but just interpolates it a bit to, for the increased um, table size um, apart from that it should in theory all work so I've just gone and done what it said here it's, um, for the MS2 it requires some extra extra wiring which is in the form of a red wire that runs now here so it's actually picking up a 12 volt source from the end there, bringing it back to the ECU um, chip. So that actually allows it then to do um, table switching, which I already had on the MS1. Um, but the MS2 just runs it a little bit differently. So um, here, you have to run that wire. I'm soldering iron out. tight squeeze but um, it's all back in there so the MS2 chips in there pretty sure I've wired everything up right but we shall see I suppose so I've got the ECU all set up um, it seems to all be tickety boo the um, only thing that was different was the Bluetooth module um, board rate was wrong for the MS2 Got a Raspberry Pi set up with the Bluetooth module then connected to it. And this is so I can go and change the board rate. So there's some AT commands that I need to run that should do the trick. So then I can whack it back in and we'll see how it goes. Car's all running, so I've been taking it to uh, work. I drove to work this morning. It's about a 45 minute drive, so it's been quite good. Um, checking the AFRs, making sure they're all good, they're all happy days. Um, and just a bunch of tuning, pro tuning. Um, cruise is real nice, um, real nice and smooth. Um, probably because of the better fuel maps and um, the lag factor that it's got on the MS2. Uh, makes it a whole lot nicer. Now I just have to sort of play with boost really, try to get that right. Um, yeah, it's good, 
good fun. So I thought I'd give a bit of a um, reason why I love the uh, Mega Squirt. Um, quite a good ECU for anyone that likes tinkering with things really, which is me to a T basically. Um, so I've got a link in my other car. Which is fun to tune, but once it's tuned, it's like, well, what more can you do? So you just have it tuned and live with it, basically. Where Mega Square, you can just keep playing with, keep adding new things. Like currently, I don't have an oil pressure sensor or a um, knock sensor or anything like that in it, so everything's pretty safe. Um, so I will actually add that. I've ordered in a oil pressure sensor, which I'll wire in, hook up, and set up. Um, so they're pretty cool like that, that you can just add to it and um, do what you want. And they also have, the software is actually really easy to use. Um, like I just set up boost control then, it's hitting 15 pound and there's literally just a, a slider here. It just says how, basically how touchy the boost control is. So you just get it to a point where it's oscillating, it's like sort of bouncing around bring it back a bit and you've got boost control. Um, other ECUs can be real finicky on how they set that up. Um, this is definitely an MS2 thing, the MS1 didn't have this, which made life quite hard. This was always a pain in the ass on that ECU. Um, but MS2 is so much better, everything's so much smoother. Um, a, few, a lot more um, features and things which makes life easier. But yeah, highly recommend them. Um, Especially a little 4H like this, they're super basic. Um, these run them fine. 